Okay, so I've got a brand new Uno here and I want to use it as a USB keyboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug it into my laptop here. So then if I open Device Manager and I look here in Ports, COM, and LPT, I see that I have a USB serial device COM12. And in Arduino Studio, I also have a USB Uno on COM12. So on most Arduino boards that I've seen, these six pins are actually just exposed metal bits uh, that you can touch wire to, but on this one you actually need to use the jumper wire. So I'm going to attach to this top upper left pin right here, and with the other end you're going to plug it into ground, and this is going to short out the entire chip. And you'll see in Device Manager that it disappears. And when we come back into Device Manager, under L LibUSB Win32 devices, I have an AT Mega 16 u 2 which is basically nothing. If I go back to Arduino, and I look in here, I don't have any board that it recognizes. And I'll have a link to this page in the description of the video, but we need to download this software, Atmel Flip. And I want to get the one with the Java runtime environment included. So now that I have Flip installed, I need to first select a target device. And there's a lot of different chips you can select here. The one that I have for my Uno is the AT Mega 16 U2, which is what I see here in the device manager. So I'm going to click OK on that. And then you need to click here and open a USB connection. And then you select this button here to put a new hex file on the UNO, and I'm going to find this uh, Arduino Keyboard 03 hex file. I'm going to make this available on my GitHub, and once you double click it, you'll see hex file parsed, and you can click Run. And now, if I go back to my device manager, I can actually open up my keyboards. I have two keyboard devices currently. Um, but if I unplug my Uno, I'll see the AT Mega 32 disappear there. And if I plug it back in, we'll actually see a third keyboard device now. And to turn this back into an Uno, we would short it out once again with the wire. I find I need to reopen flip when I do this. And this time I'm going to select the USB serial AT Mega 16U Rev3, which is the type of board I have. Click run unplug it, plug it back in, and now I see I have a uh, USB Arduino device here, and if I go back to Arduino Studio, I can see that I have uh, my Uno here as a selectable device. So the other problem with Uno keyboards is that you can't use the recommended keyboard library that you can get from uh, the libraries tab in the Arduino IDE. So a simple program like this that would begin the keyboard and write the letter A every one second um, needs to be a little bit more complicated. So I've got this file. I've also put this one on my GitHub and put the link to it up. And it's a slightly more complicated way of writing to the keyboard. You create this buffer, and then you're using serial write to write directly to the buffer. 4 is A, and 30 is Z. So what this script does is every three seconds it writes a random letter on the keyboard and then it has this release key function that it calls. A little bit more cumbersome and difficult to read, but it does work. So I'm going to put this on my Uno. And then before I unplug and plug this back in, I'm going to go to Notepad and get ready for some random keys. Because when I plug this back in, it's going to immediately start typing one every three seconds. And there it is. So one sort of gotcha with this is that if you are using serial writes to write to the buffer, 
This will conflict with your ability to do something like serial print. So if I said serial.print, you know, random char, which is something that I might want to do if I was debugging this keyboard program uh, and, you know, had it in Uno mode, um, this is going to break your keyboard and make your keyboard just press random keys when you plug it in. So you need some way to uh, comment out all your debug lines. And as a sort of final passing piece of advice, I would say that there's a reason that people don't use their Unos as keyboards so much. Um, chips like this Arduino Due or the Pro Micro here um, actually have native keyboard support and they let you use that Arduino keyboard library. So these are the boards that I would definitely recommend if you want to use Arduinos as game controllers.